morning, Sunrisers. I'm Dr. Emerson, and this is my associate, Dr. Jansen. And this little girl right here, she's 14, and her name is Annie. And as you can see, you're probably able to see she's got a wound on her front leg. She presented a, about a, probably a little over a month ago. She uh, has congestive heart failure, which we have it managed beautifully. She's doing very well. But she had a large tumor on her elbow that had gotten so large we thought it was going to rupture. So we went ahead and decided even with congestive heart failure and the other issues, we were going to put her under anesthesia because she suffers from something called mast cell cancer, uh, which are basically uh, cancerous tumors that can get on the body. And when they start to rupture, it can cause a severe inflammatory response and, and, and be very, very painful to your pet. So I went in and I removed the tumor, which we, you will see some photos of that. And then I did something called a skin flap where I took skin from up here and brought it down to be able to cover uh, the area so we could try to get it to heal. Um, of course, the skin flap doesn't normally take well. It did die, so then we started bandaging. But when, once you see the pictures of what it looked like before and what it's looking like now, it's, it's healing very, very well. Um, one of the main issues uh, when you have a mast cell tumor on these lower extremities, it, it, sometimes there's not a lot you can do if you don't do a flap or you have to go to a specialist surgeon. But there are some other things that we can do now, like some injectable products we can try to inject into mast cells to kill them. But of course, surgery normally is the option. Um, this has been a long road for Annie. She's like on her fourth, I think, week of bandaging. But once you see the pictures and see how much she's healed, she's doing very, very well. Um, she's actually been under anesthesia now three more times um, and has done well. So, I mean, heart disease, it, it, it is a factor, but it can still be very safe for your pets to, uh, to have this procedure done. So if you have a dog that you notice you, you're, you're feeling some little lumps or bumps, or maybe it's starting to get red or irritated, please make that, make that call, make that appointment, because it could be some sort of cancer. And I promise your pets will thank you. WCBI Animal Health with Dr. Emerson was brought to you by Emerson Animal Hospital in West Point.